Okay, my name is Dr. Gardner and in this video I will show you uh, the P300 uh, of an XO paradigm, how we are measuring it with the IFAN ERP program and especially what is happening before the trigger. So to say how the brain is preparing uh, the uh, paradigm and how it is working with the stimulus. That means to explain the uh, client is looking at a screen and there are uh, in certain um, times there is an X on the screen and in rare times there is also an O. You should concentrate on the O and with the O's we expect a so-called P300. First I will tell, show you how our trigger is working. Here is zero and uh, you can see a big deflection of our two triggers. The short one is our common trigger and the uh, broad one is our uncommon trigger. That means this is the X trigger and this is the O trigger. Uh, to explain it a little more, at any time when there is an X on the screen, the program is averaging a two and a half second EEG over this uh, uh, over this over the whole screen. Yeah. So here we have minus two thousand milliseconds, and here we have at the end five hundred milliseconds. Yeah. We see about uh, two thousand milliseconds to uh, one thousand seven hundred milliseconds. Uh, oh, sorry, 200 milliseconds. This was our trigger, our last trigger, and about uh, one uh, second after there was, in uh, average, there was the second trigger. The blue line is the common trigger, and the green line is the uncommon trigger. It means this is the X occurring on the screen, and this is the O occurring on the screen. We see this, uh, the uh, common and uncommon triggers are not as sharp as here because they are varying about 700 milliseconds in latency uh, to give uh, somehow an unexpected uh, evading before the next trigger. So this is why the uh, trigger before is how is uh, not so sharp as uh, this trigger here. And what we can see here, after uh, the trigger has occurred, somewhere in here, we get a big uh, deflection, uh, saying an inhibition, yeah? more in the common trigger, less in the uncommon trigger. And about 500 milliseconds before the next trigger is coming, we have a rather flat line uh, of common and uncommon at about uh, 0 0.2 uh, uh, microvolts. Here the trigger is happening yeah, and as expected we get a negative deflection here with both triggers also in the so-called M2 we have a negative deflection and the P300 here we have a multi-peak uh, P300 is clearly discernible, uh, different from the uh, common trigger, which has no which has no deflection here. So the inhibition of the uh, uncommon trigger, as a, called as P300, is can be clearly seen. So so far for this explanation of our P300 and what is happening before the P300. Thank you.